The stocks discussed on Phil's Gang are not in any way a recommendation or solicitation to buy, sell, or hold. If considering acting on information presented, we first recommend you seek out a competent, licensed professional for advice. Get ready for the radio show that tells you what Wall Street doesn't want you to know. Oh, I'm a money magnet. Money, money, money's coming to me. Money sets me free. I'm a money magnet. your daily dose of how to manage your money. And now it's time for Phil's Gang on the Off the Wall Street Radio Network with your host, Bill Brandy. Uh, Jim, you, um, you've got a pretty good prediction about what Powell is going to say uh, on Friday, and it, it's basically nothing. Well, I think he is going to be appropriately vague and perfectly non-committal. Well... Guess what? That's what happened. But I also told you that he would not taper. He would not raise rates because he had too many things going against him. One of the things was I told you that you got to have full employment. And right now, we're receiving every week new sign-ups for unemployment, unemployment checks. The unemployment applicants each week are running between 350,000 and 400,000. Anything above 350,000 is a recession. Well, guess what he said when he came out? Exactly what I said. He doesn't have full employments. So the Federal Reserve Chairman, Powell, he just came out and said that, well, he may uh, likely begin to taper before the end of the year. However, he went on to say that rate hikes aren't imminent as there's still much ground to cover before the economy hits full employment. Exactly what I said. I also said they're lying. They're not, gonna, they're not, they're not going to raise rates because they don't control it. Powell does not control the Federal Reserve. The same bankster warlords, bankster gangsters who control the Federal Reserve are the same ones who control the military industrial machine. They're the owners. They make the decisions. You think they're going to raise rates against themselves? They've never made so much money. I mean, think of the money they have made. If you just take the top one percentile and look at the money they made against the guy on Main Street who has a Combined income, let's say forty-five thousand to to a hundred thousand. The top one percent is making like four hundred times what they've made. They're not making anything out of this. They don't gain because they don't have the assets. We talk about that all the time. So he's not going to raise rates. Not only is there not full employment, he there was another thing that was going on. I I pointed out if they're going to raise rates. They're going to start tapering. Then why was it that they switched from purchasing 30-year treasuries? They switched to purchasing 10-year treasuries. Because they're going with a 10-year treasury so that the rates or the yields would drop faster. They weren't going down fast enough with the 30-year treasury. So they said, let's switch to the 10-year treasury, get those rates down fast. That, this wasn't long ago. It was like three weeks ago. And they purchased an additional half a billion a month on top of the $125 billion. At the same time, they're telling us they're going to taper. Just a total lie. It was to rally the market. That's all. Again, you've got a national debt that's going to be closing in on $30 trillion. If you bring rates back to 5% to normal, are you out of your mind? How are you going to pay $1.5 trillion in interest annually? They can't even, they're almost at $400, 400 million, and they can't, they can't even, they can't even uh, 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 pay that interest. They have to go borrow it. That's right. They borrow it. They go borrow it. If they don't print it, they borrow it. 
And the other thing is you can't raise rates when consumer confidence is tanking. And consumer confidence is really tanking right now. It's tanking. Because people now, okay, they, they just can't put up with these increase, increases in prices. They just can't do it. They're not making the money to do it. And also remember what's happening with housing. Take a good look at lumber prices. You know, anytime you buy a house, you better go look at the lumber prices. They're going to be overpaying for your house. Especially if you're going to go buy a newly built house. You better check with the lumber prices. And if, if, if the lumber prices have been going down, but the guy who's building these new houses, the builder, he hasn't been dropping his prices, then you're going to overpay. Because the price of lumber, you match with with the housing price. If lumber's going down, the price of that housing better come down. But we're seeing that right now. Lumber's coming down, and we're starting to now see price of houses finally coming down. Remember, when they had this so-called housing boom between February of 2020 to February 2021, that wasn't anything like the boom we had before. Because remember, what makes up most of our housing is starter homes, first-time home buyers, about 47%. 47% is what makes up the, the, the uh, housing, those sales. 47% of the sales are from first-time home buyers. First-time home buyers are non-existent. The, the people who are buying the homes were people who are living in riot-torn areas like Chicago, Noma, Portland. And they were moving out to the country, out to the suburbs. Well, how many people can move out to the suburbs? Then all of a sudden it stopped. All of a sudden it stopped. So everybody looked at the boom like it was the other boom. No, it's nothing like it. It has nothing to do with it. So what we're seeing now is housing prices starting to come down. We're seeing consumer confidence starting to come down. And you think he's going to raise rates? What are you, nuts? He's not going to do that. Jeez. Unbelievable. So today, if you go and take a look at the yields, the 10-year Treasury yield, they were back up to, I think, about one, what was the high today? But So about 133 basis points. Now, it's interesting. When you look at the 133 basis points, what should be soaring are the banks. But you go take a look at the banks, the problem is the banks are going up, but the amount of money going into the banks are very, very little. Matter of fact, on my charts, the color-coded charts, they're red. Most of them are red, other than our Morgan Stanley. Morgan Stanley's green, which means enough money is going into Morgan Stanley, so I have no problem buying that. And then there's enough money going into, I think the other one was, uh, if I'm correct, the other one was uh, uh, Wells Fargo. But it hasn't even turned green yet. So that's the beautiful thing about tying your charts to the money because you don't make a mistake. When you go buy a, a, a bank and you see the banks going, if you don't, if you don't have my color-coded chart, if you start buying banks and you go and start looking at them, you'll see the banks are going up, right? Well, you're going to get hurt because even though the bank stocks are going up, they're, they're going to come right back down because what's happening is there's not enough money going into them. Take a look at J.P. Morgan. J.P. Morgan is in a downtrend as the stock is going up. And that's why so many people lose money. They don't know what they're doing. So here, J.P. Morgan is in a downtrend, and yet the stock's going up. But thank God on my color-coded technology chart, it's red. So it's telling me, yes, stock's going up, but you don't buy it as an investment. If you want to trade it, you certainly can trade it. You can trade it on our Pro 1 chart or our Pro 3 chart. But as a long-term investment, don't you dare buy these banks right now. If you went and took a look at uh, Bank of America, that's another one. Downtrend. It's going up, but it's red. It's telling you there's not enough money coming in from the institution so they can sustain this rally. So you go in there, what's going to happen is you're going to turn around and buy that stock. Let's say it's $42 right now, $42.41. You could come in Monday morning, it could be down to $28. So the color code of chart prevents you from making those kind of mistakes. More when I get back. Join my gang free for 10 days. Want more information on this show? Go to philsgang.com or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. 
Hi, I'm Phil Grady, philsgang.com. You probably heard me on the radio talking about investing in stocks and trading stocks. Well, this is a special message that I am sending out to you. You, the person who is the beginner, who are getting excited, you're seeing every day the stock market going up, never comes down, it keeps going up because of the tremendous stimulus that the president is putting into this market. He wants to continue this market going up while the economy's going down. That's what it's doing. The economy's going straight down. You know, banks right now, the worst ever. They've gone down 40%. I mean, everything's going down. Companies aren't making money, but the stock market's still going up. And you got to be very, very careful when you get into a market like this. you got to know when to get out. And that's where we come in. So if you're a beginner and you want to start learning how to invest stocks properly and have the comfort level of knowing when to get out, when to buy, when to sell, and when to get out, contact us at philsgate.com. Join today free for 10 days. With the PhilzGang.com membership, we bring investors right to the floor. Into the pits with Phil's daily live webinar classroom. Get inside market guidance on investing strategies. Find out more at PhilzGang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. Don't have time to analyze and study stocks? At PhilzGang.com, we recognize that there are all types of investors. And we also recognize that your time is valuable. So we offer investing programs for all individuals. We offer investing programs for long-term and short-term positions. And PhilzGang.com provides quick and easy to understand investing videos that only take a few minutes to watch. With the PhilzGang.com investing programs, you will learn technical stock charting, how to execute your trades, and most importantly, you will gain the confidence to know when to get out of a stock and take profits. Sign up at PhilzGang.com. That's PhilzGang.com. Com, or give them a call, 877-600-GANG. What if you could have an in-depth understanding of the stock market just like the pros? Well, thanks to Phil Grandy and PhilzGang.com, you can. PhilzGang.com offers comprehensive, up-to-date market information designed to help you understand and anticipate market behavior. With PhilzGang.com, you'll build your investing confidence even through down cycles and periods of uncertainty. Go to PhilzGang.com. PhilzGang.com today. 877-600-GANG. 877-600-4264. PhilzGang.com membership, we bring investors right to the floor. Into the pits with Phil's daily live webinar classroom. Get inside market guidance on investing strategies. Find out more at PhilzGang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. Don't have time to analyze and study stocks? At philsgang.com, we recognize that there are all types of investors, and we also recognize that your time is valuable. So we offer investing programs for all individuals. We offer investing programs for long-term and short-term positions. And philsgang.com provides quick and easy to understand investing videos that only take a few minutes to watch. With the philsgang.com investing programs, you will learn technical stock charting, how to execute your trade, and most importantly, you will gain the confidence to know when to get out of a stock and take profits. Sign up at philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com. Or give them a call, 877-600-GANG. Did you know breast cancer kills 113 people every day? That's unacceptable. African-American women die from breast cancer nearly 41% more than Caucasian women. That's unacceptable. Breast cancer is the leading cause of all cancer deaths for Hispanic women. Breast cancer is unacceptable. Together with Susan G. Komen, we're committed to reducing U.S. breast cancer deaths by half. And we're going to do it by 2026. Visit Komen.org slash unacceptable. When the markets open, we watch the market all day long. And when we see there's an opportunity for a stock, and it's a stock that we've been following. We, we, there's a lot of stocks we put on our watch list. And it has to hit a certain criteria. Then when it does, we alert you. You immediately get an alert. It says, we bought this stock, X stock, at $30. So you get an alert immediately. What's better than that? I mean, nobody does that for you. But the most important thing, they'll say, okay, here's why we're getting out now. Or here's why we're taking profits. I think it's going 
going to go down. Look, the most important thing is this. I want you to be prepared for when the market does tank or rally that you're with us, Phil's Gang. 877-600-GANG. Join my gang right now, Phil's Gang. 877-600-GANG, and you'll be in position, and you'll sleep at night. You don't have to worry. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. Welcome back. Learn, invest, and make profits with Phil Grandy. Simply go to philsgang.com. Now, here's Phil. I've been extremely happy with everything that they've done. You have all the tools necessary to become a successful trader. Phil's Gang is like having a pro by your side all day long. I would highly recommend Phil's Gang to not average retail investor. It is truly a great value for what it offers. That's right. Join my gang free. That's right, free for 10 days, and you get the color-coded chart that tells you when to buy, when to sell, when to add, and when to run like hell. And better yet, it will give you an advance warning, a call to action. The color changes, giving you a call to action. If you're in a stock and it's going up, it warns you in advance, and it truly works. It tells you institutions are pulling their money out. Call to action. you got to do something. If you're a gang member, obviously you're going to learn how to sell a stock short when that happens. So you're making money when a stock is going down. That's when you really take control of the stock market. Anybody who's in the market who does not know how to sell a stock short, that's tough. That means you got to be buying stocks to perfection. You only can be buying stocks that are going up. And here's the problem. When they're going up, they all go up. Especially when the stock market for the last 200, I think it's 207 days, has yet to have a contraction of even 5%. So you got all stocks going up. Stocks that should be out of business, they're going up. Think about it. We haven't had a 5% pullback in 207, I think it's 207 days. That's insane. And that's why I tell my members, you should just stay in the spiders. Why be in a 401k? Just be in the spiders. You just sit there, you strap yourself in, and you continually make money. See, I've been in the market for 51 years on this earth for 75. I've never, five years, I've never seen anything like this because I've never seen a stock market that they're printing so much money. Since 2009, they have printed $22 trillion to artificially push the stock market up. How can you not make money? It's been the tech stocks that have been leading. And no matter what news you get, they keep pushing the stocks up. Look what's going on right now in the market. We got a situation where confidence, home builder confidence, has dropped to a 13-month low. But the market will keep going up. Nobody cares. See, nobody cares anymore because this market has been, has been attached to financial engineering. When you're printing 6.5, 6.5 billion a day, to keep this market going up, no matter what the news is. But all it's doing is setting up for a bigger and bigger crash. It's going to be huge. It's going to be huge. So the home builders is a big sign. It's a big problem. It's telling us something's wrong. Something's wrong. Now, I just want to say, say this. About, you know, all politicians play politics. That's their game. That's what they do. That's that's part of them. That's their DNA. They play politics. And they take care of themselves. They take care of the party and themselves above 
anything else. They always take care of the party and themselves as one, their party. Their par everything's the party. They do not put the country first, and they do not put the people first. And I was thinking the other day, or yesterday actually, Biden's main focus right now is not getting Americans out of the Afghan airport, but to get the cameras out of there. That's why it, that's his priority, not the Americans, not the people who work for the Americans, but to get the cameras out of there. That's why he won't extend the August 31st deadline. Can you imagine the optics? Politicians live and die by optics. His handlers, are you kidding? Watching his ratings plummet. Why? Because of the cameras. 24-7 for two weeks now. Making him look like a dope. He can't, he can't control it. It's making him look like a dope. And the more he goes out to speak, the more he looks like a dope. They can't wait to get those cameras out of there. They just can't wait. That's what they're focusing on. He'll sacrifice any American. Anyone who worked with the Americans, he'll sacrifice anybody to get those cameras out of there. So what does this have to do with the stock market? Oh, a lot. See, when you when the come when the economy when you don't feel good, when you don't feel good, you don't spend. And when people see the disaster over there, they don't feel good. Remember, the job of the fake business news network, their job is to get your hope up to make you feel good, to make you go out and spend. When used cars were up, going up 40%, 40% in a few months, used cars went up, people still went out and bought those cars because the fake business news network could always make you feel good. You turn to, to, to CNBC, you turn to uh, Fox Business, they'll always come in and tell you, everything's booming, everything's great. Look at, and they always point to the stock market. They say, look at that, that's the economy, it's doing great. That's their job, to make you feel good. Well, you can't make people feel good in the situation we have now. The market reflects it. When you see, when yields are this high, the big tech stocks like Microsoft and Apple should be soaring. They're not. They're not. So, if you take a look, <laughs> so, and so when you hear stuff like this coming out from Kramer, this is amazing. Outside materials, I'm very confused by this I love stock. The Don't be confused, it's viable. I think the people who are selling the stock actually did not know what they were doing. They're always welcome to the show. Can you imagine saying something like that? I'm going to take a look at this stock when I get back. It's so important. Please join my gang. So you at least get a chart free for 10 days to tell you what's going on? We'll be right back. Want more information on this show? Go to philsgang.com or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. With the philsgang.com membership, we bring investors right to the floor. Into the pits with Phil's daily live webinar classroom. Get inside market guidance on investing strategies. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. Don't have time to analyze and study stocks? At philsgang.com, we recognize that there are all types of investors. And we also recognize that your time is valuable. So we offer investing programs for all individuals. We offer investing programs for long-term and short-term positions. And PhilzGang.com provides quick and easy to understand investing videos that only take a few minutes to watch. With the PhilzGang.com investing programs, you will learn technical stock charting, how to execute your trades, and most importantly, you will gain the confidence to know when to get out of a stock and take profits. Sign up at PhilzGang.com. That's PhilzGang.com. Com, or give them a call, 877-600-GANG. Hi, I'm Phil Grady, philsgang.com. You probably heard me on the radio talking about investing in stocks and trading stocks. Well, this is a special message that I am sending out to you. You, the person who is the beginner, who are getting excited. You're seeing every day the stock market going up, never comes down. It keeps going up because of the tremendous stimulus that 
the president is putting into this market. He wants to continue this market going up while the economy is going down. And that's what it's doing. The economy is going straight down. You know, banks right now are the worst ever. They've gone down 40%. I mean, everything's going down. Companies aren't making money, but the stock market is still going up. And you got to be very, very careful when you get into a market like this. you got to know when to get out. And that's where we come in. So if you're a beginner and you want to start learning how to invest stocks properly and have the comfort level of knowing when to get out, when to buy, when to sell, and when to get out, contact us at philsgate.com. Join today free for 10 days. Billsgang.com is not the only way you can stay in touch with what we do throughout the day. With today's social media, you can stay up to date with Phil's Gang current events. You can find Phil's Gang on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and more. <laughs> Phil's Gang radio show is broadcast live Monday through Friday from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Facebook, Periscope, and, of course, YouTube. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Go to Phil'sGang.com and find our social media buttons at the top left-hand corner of the site. Phil'sGang.com and Phil's Gang social media, keeping you connected. Hi, I'm Phil Gray at Phil's Gang. You probably heard me on the radio talking about investing in stocks and trading stocks. Well, this is a special message that I am sending out to you. You, the person who is the beginner, who are getting excited, you're seeing every day the stock market going up, never comes down, it keeps going up because of the tremendous stimulus that the president is putting into this market. He wants to continue this market going up while the economy is going down. And that's what it's doing. The economy is going straight down. You know, banks right now are the worst ever. They've gone down 40%. I mean, everything's going down. Companies aren't making money, but the stock market's still going up. And you got to be very, very careful when you get into a market like this. you got to know when to get out, and that's where we come in. So if you're a beginner and you want to start learning how to invest stocks properly and have the comfort level of knowing when to get out, when to buy, when to sell, and when to get out, contact us at philsgate.com. Join today, free for 10 days. What if you could have an in-depth understanding of the stock market just like the pros? Well, thanks to Phil Grandy and PhilsGang.com, you can. PhilsGang.com offers comprehensive, up-to-date market information designed to help you understand and anticipate market behavior. With PhilsGang.com, you'll build your investing confidence even through down cycles and periods of uncertainty. Go to PhilsGang.com. PhilsGang.com today. 877-600-GANG. 877-600-4264. At St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, we're fighting against childhood cancer every day. At the heart of this battle are our donors. Most of us want to make some type of difference in the lives of others. St. Jude does miraculous work. The fact that no one has to pay, it's a place where everyone is treated as an equal. Everybody is welcome here. And it doesn't matter your religion or what part of the world you're from, all that is taken away. It just gives you some hope. It's just a nice feeling to put your energy into something that really does genuinely make a difference in a child's life. There's just no greater gift. If we have the ability to help, then we have a responsibility to help. Finding Cures, Saving Children. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Find out how you can help at stjude.org. Welcome back. Are you ready to make profits in the stock market? Why not check out PhilzGang.com or give us a call, 877-600-4264. Now, here's Phil. The unfolding of a market crash. If you don't think the stock market's going to crash, then you got to be nuts. This is going to be one of the biggest crashes ever. Just because they're stimulating the economy, they're plugging money in, keep driving up the debt. No, the market is going to crash. I bring you evidence every Friday on my YouTube channel. I review the week and tell you why we're getting closer to the crash. So don't miss it. It's free for everyone. Go to my YouTube channel, Phil's Gang YouTube channel. Yeah, and it's going to be tonight. I'll put up around 6 to 7 p.m. Eastern Time. And it, again, I review the week. It's free. You don't have to be a gang member. Review the week, and I'll tell you why we are seeing the scale tipping towards a crash. Now, you know, most people don't understand because they don't understand the market. When you have this kind of stimulus money, 
where they're printing 6.5 trillion and then don't forget all this money that they're doing every week sending checks to everybody the people are still at a point they're not feeling pain because they're getting these checks in their you know direct deposit and they go out and spend them and so they don't feel the pain but they're getting there though because we're starting to see now where the consumer confidence is dropping we're starting to see the builder confidence is dropping and we're starting to see where they're rejecting prices because what's happening a lot of these when you, if, if you put up a chart and show the chart against the confidence put up a chart of housing and see how the housing is dropping then you put a chart again overlay it on confidence and you see the confidence dropping and so on house prices dropping because once that consumer loses confidence, that's when it, you really start getting in trouble. Because you go from inflation to deflation. And that's where the danger is. And again, remember, the only people who love this market with all this inflation, okay, is the very, very wealthy. The one one hundredth of one percent. These people have a $22 million income. These people are very, very wealthy. They have a net worth of half, you know, probably five hundred million dollars. Top one percent have a million dollar income. I, you know, I've been saying it's really. I've been saying the top one percent has an income of four hundred thousand dollars with five million. I should have gone and looked that up. I haven't looked it up, and I, I don't think in three years, four years, and it's now gone. It's doubled it's to a million, million. To get in that club it used to be half of 400,000, 500,000. Now it's a million. This kind of money they've made off this market with all this inflation. They love inflation. They love it. Because all of their assets go up. But the poor guy on the street, he doesn't have assets to go up. He just doesn't. He doesn't have that wealth. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the sad part. Poor guy in Main Street, he's going from paycheck to paycheck. He hasn't got, he hasn't got uh, diamonds. He hasn't got art. He hasn't got special metals, special real estate, executive real estate. He got, he's got nothing except his job. And they screwed him on his job because the CEOs, with all this printed money, and it's free, zero rates, the banks give it to them, and they don't take that money and pull it back into their company for what we call CapEx, or business investment. Instead, they go and buy their own shares. And the poor guy that's working, he gets no benefit out of the stock market going up. None. Zero. He gets benefit when productivity goes up. When productivity goes up. Remember, we were a strong nation. We Before we started to, to outsource all of our stuff, we were such a strong nation because nobody could outproduce us. Now we now we're in a position we don't produce. The, remember what's going on. The policy, the monetary policy, is stop producing, start printing money, and spend on stimulus to run the stock market up. That's what it's all about. Print money. Go spend it on stock buybacks and run the market. And then let's take more of that free money and give it to the folks and let them go become debt slaves. They'll become our debt slaves. And who are these people? Who the hell are these people? These are the same people. These are the same people that control the Federal Reserve. They're the same exact people who also control the the, the uh military complex, industrial complex. They're the same exact people. They're our owners. That's right. The same people who run the Federal Reserve, who makes the decisions, who watch inflation so they can get rich. This private corporation called Federal Reserve has a monopoly to print money backed by nothing except the good faith of the government, the good faith of Pelosi, Schumer, Biden, Waters, the good faith. How do you, how, don't you feel good about that? Look at the money you have in savings or in your wallet. And when you count it, you got a hundred bucks. It's only worth a hundred dollars because of Pelosi and Schumer and Biden. What kind of faith you have in them? No wonder all the countries are selling their dollars and buying gold. And I keep telling people that and they don't believe me. The gold is going to be the deal. But these are the same owners. The same owners who control the military-industrial complex. 
You're talking about the people who control Lockheed Martin, Boeing, Raytheon, General Dynamics, Northrop Grumman, L3, United Technologies. They control everything. They control. The, they also own and control the Federal Reserve. The game's on their side. These these people, these 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 people who are one minute they're running the Federal Reserve, the next minute they're warlords. They're warlords who are sending our country's sons and daughters to spill their blood in war, like the twelve magnificent Marines, the heroes who got killed yesterday. They sent them over there, spilled their blood, so they can profit. They can profit. They did that in Vietnam, did it in Syria and Iraq. So they send everybody's sons and daughters, probably not their own, so they can profit. It's unbelievable. And who are these people? These war profiteers that plunder the American lives, who, who plunder democracy. They're the Rothschild family. They're, they're, they're the Rockefeller family. They're the Getty family. They're the Morgan family. They're the Warburg family. In fact, it goes back far enough as the royal families of Europe, even the, even the Queen of England. That's right. Even the Queen of England. Goes all the way to goes all the way to the to, to the uh, 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 Vatican for God's sakes. They're all tied in together. You got the Vanguard Group. You got State Street Corporation. You got Templeton, Barclays Bank, BlackRock. I mean, I can go on and on. J.P. Morgan, Bank of New York, Goldman Sachs, T. Rowe Price. It's all one big family. They all work together, and they want inflation. Because they just get richer. So you got to play the game. But you can't make money when a dope like, like, like Kramer tells you this, to buy, tells people to buy AMAT. Probably because he, probably because he's in it. Applied materials. I'm very confused by this I love the court. Don't books. be confused. It's viable. I think the people who are selling the stock actually did not know what they were doing. They're always welcome on the show. Unbelievable. What a comment. People don't know what they're doing. They don't know what they're doing. Really? Really, Jim? Well, let's take a look at it, Jim. This stock topped out. This stock here, my, a lot of my members own this stock, AMAP. You know when they got into AMAP? When it was from red to green. You know when that was? Back in November 2020. And you know when they got out, and, that, and I'll give you the percentage. That, that, was, that was when it was around 74 bucks. They got out just before it turned red. Okay, at $142. And it's still red today. Now think about that. That's probably about a, I don't know, about a 65, 75% gain, 92% gain. Now, I'm not saying every game member made 92%. What I'm saying, it, it, it identifies a profit center for you. What they make out of that 92% is up to them. But the important thing is when they get out of this thing. You should be in this now. I'll explain when I get back. Want more information on this show? Go to philsgang.com or give them a call at 877-600-GAME. I've been a Phil's Gang member since 2014. Over that time, I've generated over six-figure profits. Following Phil, his charting system has really been a huge impact on my career and my life. I would recommend Phil's Gang to the mom and pop out there. I would recommend it to parents teaching their children. I would recommend it to grandparents. If you really trust in their system, you will do well. For more information, go to philsgang.com or give us a call at 877-600-4264. Short on time. Time, but want to invest in the stock market? Let philsgang.com help you. For only $39.95 a month, you get complete access to all of Phil's powerful investing programs, videos, and resources. That works for me. Log in, watch the videos, and make profits. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. philsgang.com. Remember, when this market crashed in 2009, it should have never crashed because the chairperson of these two committees, their job was to protect 
consumers, protect our investments, and they're supposed to ensure that our investments are being monitored. Where were they in 2009 and 2008? They weren't anywhere because they don't do that. They take care of themselves. They protect themselves. They become richer. So you can't depend on these crooks in Congress. The stock market is a great place to be, but you just got to know this is a different market than your grandfather's market. So why don't you for 30 days, join my gang, 877-600-GANG, try it for 30 days, $39.95, follow me. I tell you when to buy, when to sell, when to add, and when to run like hell. All I ask you start making money. Please remember St. Jude. Don't wait. Join Phil's gang today and make profits. Go to philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. Warning. Google, Apple, Microsoft, Netflix, Facebook, all these hot stocks are going to crash. They're going to drop as much as 60-70%. Hi, I'm Phil Grandy, philsgang.com. Exactly what happened in the dot-com days is going to repeat itself. Remember, 85% of the people lose money in the stock market because they don't know when to get out. I fixed that with my color code technology chart. It tells you when to buy, when to sell, when to add, and when to run like hell. That's right. Make sure you check it out. It's free for 10 days. Philsgang.com. Hi, I'm Phil Grant at Philsgang.com. You probably heard me on the radio talking about investing in stocks and trading stocks. Well, this is a special message that I am sending out to you. You, the person who is the beginner, who are getting excited, you're seeing every day the stock market going up, never comes down, keeps going up because of the tremendous stimulus that the president is putting into this market. He wants to continue this market going up while the economy's going down. That's what it's doing. The economy's going straight down. You know, banks right now, worst ever. They've gone down 40%. I mean, everything's going down. Companies aren't making money, but the stock market's still going up. And you've got to be very, very careful when you get into a market like this. you got to know when to get out. And that's where we come in. So if you're a beginner and you want to start learning how to invest stocks properly and have the comfort level of knowing when to get out, when to buy, when to sell, and when to get out, contact us at philsgate.com. Join today, free for 10 days. What are you, nuts? If the stock market can make you so rich, especially Apple and Microsoft and Google and Amazon and the rest, why are so many Americans poor? If... The 401k promises you a retirement, then why is it we are in a retirement crisis? Here's the answer. Because 85% of you get out of the market too late. I fixed that with my color-coded chart, which tells you when to buy, when to sell, and when to get out. That's right, when to run like hell. Check it out. You get a free membership and the free color-coded chart for 10 days. Check it out, philsgang.com. Welcome back. Are you ready to make profits in the stock market? Why not check out PhilzGang.com or give us a call. 877-600-4264. Now, here's Phil. Hey, welcome back to Phil's Gang. Join my gang, Phil's Gang, free for 10 days and get the color-coded chart. Talking about the color-coded chart, AMAT. Now, Kramer tells this guy, in here, I'll play it again for you. This, this, this is mind-boggling. I mean, unbelievable what's going on. Applied uh, materials. I'm very confused by this. I love the quarter. Don't be confused. It's viable. I think the people who are selling the stock actually did not know what they were doing. They're always welcome on the show. Oh, they're always welcome on the show. He's going to straighten them out. Yeah. yeah. Kramer's going to straighten them out. Take this stock. If you have a mobile device and you can look at this. This stock has hit resistance since april 1st so what's that five months for five months this stock has not been able to get above 142 bucks for five months now the time to have bought the stock if this was one of your five or six stocks like that you trade all the time invest in the time to have bought this was the great time to have bought this was back here in of course november of 2020 so it went up 90%. Now, I'm not suggesting my members, every member of my gang made 90%. I'm not saying that. When it turns green, we treat every stock and set up the chart so that each stock is like its own profit center, like its own business. And when it turns green, it's telling us the institutions are putting plenty of money in that stock so it'll sustain its rally. It'll sustain it. So you buy it. Now, 
you, when your chart, it will let you know if money is coming out. It will turn a color orange. It will warn you, give you a heads up. So the 90% rally, some members probably made 10%, depending where they got in between, between uh, uh, let's say, November of 2020 and when they got out, let's say, of uh, May, uh, May 28th of 2021. They decide where they get out while it's green. It's up to them where they want to get out. So some get in early, some get out. It doesn't matter if they make 10%, 6%, 20, 30, 40. Everyone makes different percentage. But the key is they're in the right stock. That's the big key to identify it's the right stock, meaning money is going in. And it can sustain its trend. Everything's about trend. Don't listen to these people about all the fundamentals of a stock. Who cares? It's all BS. Every time they get on these shows, these fundamentals, they start talking about the fundamentals. Okay, they're going to open up here and they're expanding here and they're buying this. It means nothing. Nothing. If all that is true, the money's going to go in, right? Isn't it? Money's going to go in. If I, everything they say about a company is fantastic, it's all true, money's going to go in. Okay, so I want to see it turn green. If it doesn't turn green, just like AMAT. AMAT's red. Red. The institutions are pulling money out. He's telling Kerberstown, these guys who are selling didn't know what they're doing. Oh, really? Really. So this has turned red. So it's telling you, even though it started to go up on August 19th, from $125 to $136, it's not sustainable. It's telling you that you could be, let's say you got in at, I don't know, say, say you got in at $131. Or, uh, no, let's, let's say you got in at, um, let me do a low here. Let's say you got in at, what, $125. And then when it went up to $128, you're feeling really good, right? You can wake up the next morning, it could be down to $90. Why? Because... The color-coded chart is telling you it's red. It's telling you it's not sustainable. So you could be in that stock, and the next morning they pull the bid out, and that thing just drops like a rock. They don't do that when it's green. Matter of fact, a stock can pull back 10 15% and still go right back up as long as it stays green because it's telling you there's sufficient amount of money going in. That's what investing's about is finding the trend of money. What's the trend of money? And if you take a look at this chart, he's an idiot for telling this guy to get in the stock. What he should have told them is if the stock breaks out of its high of April 1st of around 142, then buy it. It's right now at 136.55. If it drops below its low of 128, then sell it short. Right now, he should have said, you're in no man's land. You're in no man's land. You're caught between a low and a high. You're smack in the middle. There's no buyers. And you got to get up through all these sellers from 136 all the way up to 145. you got to grind your way up through those sellers. That's tough to do. So why don't you wait till it breaks out to a high, say above 145. No, he just tells everybody's wrong except me. Go buy the stock. It's just ridiculous. Look, the stock market will continue to go up as long as these bankster gangsters, who are the same warlords, to send our sons and daughters to war for profit, as long as they keep in control and they keep printing $6.5 a day to force the stock market up, then stay in the market. We tell our members this every day. But the market, the bubble, is getting bigger and bigger. Because that's what's moving the market up. It's nothing but all this printed money. And the inflation is killing everybody on Main Street. Their wages aren't going up. You take gasoline, groceries, everything else. You're, you're up about 45% in the last year. Their wages aren't up 45%. It's all at the expense of Main Street so these gangster, banksters, and warlords can make money. And what you got to know is where's their money going and just follow it. And that's what we do every day. And, 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 and they're all in cahoots with each other. That's okay. I don't care. You remember, they attach this stock market 
to financial engineering. I'm going to be sad the day they, they make the market honest again. It's going to be too hard to make money. Today, I don't have to look at anything. I don't have to look at a, a balance sheet of a company. Why would I need to look at a balance sheet of a company? For what? For what reason? I don't need to know the price to book, the price to sales, the margins, the free cash flow. What do I need to know that? I, I, I don't need to have any of that information. All I know, if these gangster banksters, okay, are putting money into AMAT, which they did back in November of 2020, all the way up, all the way up to April of 2021, that's when you should be in that stock. Not now. Not now. Now, the other thing that's going on is that the money that's going to be made, big money, is going to be in what we call our COVID-19 stocks. COVID-19 stocks. That means our airlines, our cruise lines, okay, and our casinos and hotels. A lot of money is going to also be made into our drillers, our refiners, and into the uh, military industrial complex like Boeing and Lockheed Martin, Martin and all those. They're getting rid of all that equipment over there. They, they didn't want that equipment back. Do you think that was a mistake or bad planning? They left billions of dollars of equipment in Afghanistan? No, they did the same thing. In, they did the same thing in Iraq. The same exact thing. Exactly. I, I had a list yesterday. Everything they left in Iraq because they, they remember who controls that? Who makes the decision? Should that equipment come out or not? Is it Biden? Of course not. Who makes the decisions? The generals who are getting jobs with the warlords at General Dynamics, at GE, at Lockheed Martin. They're the ones that say, don't take the equipment because now we're going to have to replace it. They're so crooked, the military's money managers last year made almost $7 trillion in adjustments to their financial ledgers in an attempt to make it add up because the inspector general said, where's all this money? Where's all the money go? They steal so much money, they can't find it. And these are the people that are sending our sons, our daughters, these Marines, of Afghanistan, these gangsters, these crooks. Makes you sick to your stomach. Look, the stock market is the best place in the world to make money. There's nothing like it. Nothing like it. But you got to know what you're doing. And I'm offering you a chart that helps you. Try it for 10 days. It's free. It assists you. It's like your brother. Or your it takes care of you. If you don't believe it, try it for 10 days. You'll say, why haven't I do that? Why haven't I done this long ago? I'll see you on the chart. Join my gang, Phil'sGang.com, free for 10 days. You have been listening to Phil's Gang with your host, Phil Grandy, on the Off the Wall Street Radio Network. Off the Wall Street Radio Network. Remember to visit Phil's website at Phil'sGang.com. That's Phil'sGang.com. Or call the office, 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. It's up to me to make my dreams come true.